Yeah. On the mic. We're gonna feel it. It's about the shoe getting more out of the way without taking away the protection element, but allowing the foot to uh, be the driver, to really be able to do what it wants to do and, and, and is, is capable of doing. Just like if you're training any other part of uh, your muscles of your body, the intrinsic muscles, the small intrinsic muscles of your feet um, are no different. They have to go through their full range of motion in order to, to reach their full potential. And we all know that the best prevention to injury is strength. And so we just take that tact with barefoot training to the fact that if your feet are stronger, you have the potential to be less injured, thus the potential of be having better performance. Certainly barefoot training is not a new concept. Uh, it's been around for a long time. Even our co-founder Bill Bowerman uh, believed a lot in barefoot training. We've never really taken it you know, and seeing how it could be applied as far as in a shod or covered condition such as in a shoe. Back in about 2001, we were talking to uh, one of our uh, Nike coaches, uh, Vin Lanana, uh, and we were asking him, he's been very successful over the years, and asking him, what is it that uh, really sets your teams apart from other teams? He started talking to us about how his teams were um, uh, very healthy. In other words, they, they didn't get injured a lot and thus he could really train them harder and he thought that that had a lot to do with it. And then when we asked him, you know, well, what, what, what were you doing to help them be stronger? Um, he says, well, uh, Toby, we're actually taking your shoes off. There are inherent risks of barefoot training if you don't have uh, a place that uh, you know is free of debris that you could potentially step on and get injured that way. We do know the one great thing about shoes is that they do protect you from those kinds of elements of getting injured. He said that would be the best of both worlds. And, and so that was our aha moment is that, that if we could really hone in on um, what it was about barefoot training um, first and understand and get the, what, what that standard was as far as measurements and then design towards that and then put it back through that same testing protocol to see if we were matching that. And if we were, we would have a shoe that basically allowed your foot to behave as if it were barefoot but protected at the same time. One of the things that was really important to us was to understand some science behind all of this regarding barefoot training. Um, and whether, um, you know, we could put some numbers to what those benefits are um, in incre potential increase in strength, in potential increase in range of motion, and also um, take a look at balance. What does that do for your balance as well? Thankfully, we have a great research uh, team here at Nike in the Nike Sports Research Lab, and Jeff Pashada and his team did a fantastic job of giving us um, a look at the barefoot itself first. But then we really wanted to take a look at knowing what those measurements are with barefoot. We needed to see what the Nike Free, once you put the shoe on that was designed for being uh, barefoot in a shod condition, what that was going to give us as well. Our great partner in uh, Professor Peter Brueggemann in the Sport University of Cologne, he underwent a, uh, a six-month uh, prospective study that really started to uh, take a look at these specific benefits um, that we were theorizing um, was there and that coach Vin Lanana said I, I haven't proven scientifically but I just know are there. Well we wanted to set out to prove it. The results were uh, quite amazing. The strength portion um, we were able to, to demonstrate that uh, the experimental group increased their strength up to 20% more than the control group, which had no uh, statistically significant improvement. The range of motion or flexibility increased up to 10% uh, in the experimental group, control group, no statistically uh, significant improvement. And then the balance, the third entity in all this, was increased up to 22%. Uh, which I think is directly related back to, again, the strength and the flexibility because if you have increased strength and flexibility, it can improve your, uh, your balance. Thus, we really could answer now uh, scientifically when you allow the, f 
the feet to go through their full range of motion and, and do it in an environment that uh, protects them at the same time. The health of their feet can improve. You can tell a, a coach that. They would say, well, then I can work them out even harder. I, and thus, their performance then is going to improve because they're working out um, harder and longer.